Hello there, I'm Robin Lee Hall, and I'm going to show you how to roughly draw out a portrait very, very simply using shapes and structure lines. Now, we're going to be working from a portrait from the BP Portrait Award 2020. Um, and I, what I've done is I've panned in on it a bit so we can see things more clearly. Now, I'm working with uh, an Apple Pencil and an iPad Pro, but in fact, you can work, use pen, pencil and paper if you want to, and I put on the screen sort of a few details. Now you can see that I've drawn out the face very very roughly already and I've drawn also on the painting so you can see the guidelines on the painting as well. A key thing is to start off with a simple shape so I started off with a circle so I drew the circle and then half a circle down I marked where the chin was and then roughly drew out the outline of the jawline. So very, very simple like that. I've also put in the uh, feature lines. And another key thing is I've put in um, a center line. Now the reason why I put that in is because the sitter is actually looking at us, but he's not facing us directly. So you're seeing more of one side of the face than the other. And that's kind of a key thing because there's always a tendency to straighten things up a bit. When they're slightly off, you tend to draw the drawing that's in your head, not the drawing you see. And this is really key, looking, looking when you're doing a portrait is very important, whether you're working from a photograph or whether you're working from live. So I'm gonna have a go now at trying to roughly draw out the side of the nose. So I'm gonna look at the portrait of Joel. And in fact, before I do that, I'm gonna get rid of these lines because they're distracting me a little bit. And I'm gonna look at the side of the nose. I'm gonna roughly draw that in. Now, key thing, when you're drawing is not pressing too hard. Even on this iPad, if I press too hard, I get a very hard, heavy line. Now, if you travel up from the side of the nose, you usually locate the corner of the eye. So I'm just gonna roughly draw in very lightly the corner of that eye. I'm not gonna do the eye in any detail at all. I'm gonna do it very, very simply. And the same applies on the other side, except because it's three quarter view, that eye will be tucked in a little bit more so I'm going to just tuck that eye in a bit more from the corner of the nose. So when I go up, I go in a little bit. And I'm just going to put that eye very roughly in. Now, it, you don't want to be critical at this early stage. You want to just get these basic shapes in that you can then eventually alter if you want to. Now, going to the top of the mouth, just going to mark where it sort of starts. Also mark where it finishes. Normally, if you travel up from the side of the mouth, a, a passive mouth, you will find that the edge of the mouth kind of goes through the center of the eye. Because he's three quarter view, it will be not quite through the center of the eye. You're not seeing so much of the other side of the mouth, so I'm gonna just cut that down a little bit. And then I'm gonna draw the bow of the lips, and then I'm gonna come down the bow of the lips, and then come down again, and then draw that fullness of those lips there, okay. Now, it's not a straight line when the lips meet. Often it will mimic the bow. So I'm going to just put that in there. And it's sort of mimicking the bow like that. I'm also going to put in um, the position of the eyes. I'm just going to roughly put them in, very crudely put them in, so that he looks like he's looking at us now. I'm going to also put in the, the eyebrows as well or the brow line really because we can't see very much because of the shadows and I'm also going to suggest the hairline I'm going to draw that in now that hairline there like that and that actually then brings me to the edge of the face where I can see if I actually draw on the real picture you can see there's that sort of contour so we're going to try and get that we've got the hairline we want to draw and that comes in for the temple like that. I'm going to bring the hairline in a little bit and then it comes out for the cheek. So it comes out, goes in, comes out again, comes out of the cheek. Draw this nice and lightly and then comes down all the way down to the chin like that. To get more of the sort of look of him, um, I'm going to go to the other side, try and get that hairline in there. Another key thing as well is try and get some of the structure of the cheekbone. The shadow is telling us 
there's a bit of structure there. So I'm going to put that in there like that. Another thing, have a look at the nostril, have a look at the nose. You can see that side. You can see more of that side, even though it's hidden in shadow, than you can of that side. So that nostril is going to be smaller than that one there, like that. And that's really basically how to start a portrait drawing. If you've got those structure lines, they really help you and they also give you confidence. Eventually, if I go on and do this a little bit more, I would actually rub out these structure lines. But this is the way, one of the ways to start a portrait. Thank you.